Hello, this is Rosie Amador. I'm a voiceover artist and proud Women on Fire member. For the August 2016 Women on Fire membership, founder Debbie Phillips interviews Louise Duarte, the well-known impressionist, actress, and comedian. She's also a wife, mother, and author. In this thoroughly entertaining conversation, Louise brings a cast of characters, from Katherine Hepburn to Hillary Clinton to George Burns, to share her wit and wisdom. They will inspire you to have faith and perseverance in following your dreams. Let's listen in as Louise and a few of her friends tell us about the jaw-dropping string of events that led her to a long and successful career in show business. So as I grew older, I would just use these impressions to kind of escape and have fun. But it wasn't until I was living in Woodland Hills, California, and my husband of 20 years decides he wants to leave. Wow. And every morning, my friends on the street in Woodland Hills would come over, my girlfriends, and we would have a little, you know, talk with our coffee. And, and I would always throw in some impressions of different people. And I called them together and I said, we need to pray. My husband's left. And I said, I'm afraid we're going to lose everything. He also lost his job. He had a, some issues there. And so we started praying. And one of my girlfriends says, hey, Louise, why don't you go to, to one of those comedy clubs? Wow. You know, and see if you could you could do those funny voices, you know, for a living. And I looked at her like her cheese had slipped off the cracker. I said, are you kidding? <laughs> I said, I can't go down to one of those sleazy comedy clubs and get on stage. Remember, I was the, still the shy kid. but right, now because you're a mom, right? But now I'm a mom of two children. Something inside me knew that I had to do it because I knew that was the only way out. And I thought, if I don't take a chance, I'm going to lose everything. Wow. I got into my car the next week, and I went down to the comedy store on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. I stood in line. I was the only woman. Stood in line with all these guys. It was open mic night, it's called, where anybody can get up, and you have five minutes wow. to get up on stage. My knees were shaking. And the MC gets up, and... He's starting to call my name, and he's saying, L -l 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 Lousy, Lousy Duarte. And I said, yeah, that's me, Lousy. You know? <laughs> and I start making my way to the stage, and the piano player is, you know, tinkling away, and unfortunately, so was I. <laughs> and I got up on the stage, and I did some impressions. I think I did, like, Joan Rivers. Ah, love Jimmy Joan. <laughs> And I did share, I remember I did share in Catherine Hepburn. I did a little bit of Catherine Hepburn. That's what I did. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then Tweety Bird, I thought I thought a putty tat. I did the uh, putty tat. Well, unbeknownst to me, here's the God wink. Star Search scouts were in the audience to see 10 other people. And I was on right before them. They saw me. They put me on the show. To hear the rest of this interview, join the Women on Fire monthly membership today. You will become part of what New York Times best-selling author Marianne Williamson calls the ultimate You Go Girl community for inspiration and support. You have only a few more days to receive the full interview with Louise Duarte, your personalized coaching materials, access to the Women on Fire private Facebook page, and much, much more. Join us today at womenonfire.com membership. We can't wait to meet you.